I would just like to thank everyone who decided to come out with me tonight and um, share some peace and unity with Lockdowns for Peace. Um, I'm really excited because we're finally back out in person. Everyone can, you know, be around each other and we can show the real true uh, peace and unity that we're trying to spread. Um, unfortunately, we know that we've experienced a, a lot of violence um, in these past couple of weeks. And um, I would just like to take a moment of silence, um, if we could, for all the individuals who lost their loved ones. close friend of mine um, also has a brother who lost his life. Um, his birthday is today, so I would just like to say that I honor him today on his birthday and uh, to keep him in prayer, please. His name is uh, Kevin Thomas. So as we know, Lock Arms for Peace is an initiative um, that was started eight years ago, um, and the exact location is here. Uh, the other flip side of it is, is uh, also the site where I lost my daughter, Essence. Um, this is her memorial where we come to pray. Um, this is where we come to hold out her vigils. Um, and this year will be our 10th uh, year anniversary for Essence. So once again, like I said, I would like to thank you all for coming out today um, as we just lock arms for peace and just try to bring some sort of um, solace to our communities of um, families that's hurting right now due to the, the loss of their loved ones. Um, I'm also going to have the um, someone from the Nonviolence Institute to come up and speak to you today um, in regards to something that uh, we will be in close collaboration with them with. So, Becky, would you like to come up for a moment, please? Sorry. Hey, Diana. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming out to support. Your voice okay, your voice Diana, her family and the community. Um, I just wanted to spread the word about the Nonviolence Institute's initiative, the Three Cities Nonviolence Program. So we really are trying to build collaboration to support youth victims, families, and work to really try to prevent cycles of violence in our communities. So we are um, building a collaborative initiative in Providence, Pawtucket, and Central Falls that brings together uh, the school departments, the, a, a bunch of community organizations, as well as local law enforcement agencies um, in each of these three cities to work together to really support families, build proactive, preventive solutions, um, connect the dots, provide resources. And we really are passionate about having families really be the guiding voices for how should the schools work together, how should the organizations work together, how can they support the work of the Nonviolence Institute in serving victims, and um, just what can we all do together. So um, I'll pass around a flyer with some information and my contact info if you'd like to get involved and lend your, your voice and just lend a hand so we can be really collaborating. Thanks. Thank you, Becky. Appreciate that. So as I said, once again, um, thank you all. Uh, we are just going to now lock arms. Um, if you just take a moment to lock your arms as we stand in solidarity for peace and unity.